Hey, it's Joseph here. And here is the box of the product that I would like to showcase today. And it's got some scuffs on the box itself due to shipping. Let's have a look of the overall box over here. It is kept quite generic. It doesn't list out any features or anything like that. I typically go through. I only see more of a model number of this monitor. It is P2723DE. So from there, I can denote the P stands for the P series, which is more professional level monitor from Dell. And it is 27 inch, that's why it's P27. And then the 23DE is basically going in sequence as it gets better. It goes higher number and the letter of alphabet. I get all mixed up on the four last characters of Dell modeling scheme, but the first three alphabets and the numbers denote those things. Yeah, so let's go ahead and open this up. Let me just lay this flat. And we got the sort of the quick setup guide, which kind of tells you how to set up this monitor. I probably could do it without. And here is a warranty regulatory information along with a cable tie and then display port to display port cable and then the power cable and then USB-C to USB-C. So if you're connecting something via USB-C, that's quite important. And then we also have USB type A port to USB-C. So I imagine you would use this if you intend to upstream a signal from your device up to the monitor. So the monitor becomes your USB hub, then you need something like this. If you are not using the USB-C to USB-C cable is my guess so we'll kind of test that out however i may not use display to display port because i want to use a laptop connection in this case so we're just going to use usb-c for this scenario but here is the base of the monitor as always the typical dell silvery scheme of color with a little thread at the bottom to tighten up to the arm so let's get that out and then underside there should be the monitor so it's kind of hard for you to see and hard for me to reach, but here is the arm. And basically you just undo the wrap. And as to typical Dell monitor, actually a lot of monitor works this way. Put the base underneath the arm like this and it'll just stand like that. And then on the bottom, there's a little thread that you can screw into. And as long as you tighten that good, the arm assembly will be finished. And basically you just have to peel back the foam wrap for the monitor and then actually grab the monitor arm and then insert it in there. And then as long as it clicks, it's gonna be all secure. And at that point, you can just lift the monitor using the arm and then just peel back the wrap and put it in the box. So now we have the monitor and as you can see it is able to rotate and then angle it up and down and also it can go up and down as well. So you can have it as low as you want like so or have it up. You can adjust it to your liking and you can also rotate either way like so. So you can go completely vertical if you would like to. So it's a 90 degree long portrait type of setup and that's a usually good way to cover all the ports on the back so it's kind of hard for you to see as well as me but i'm gonna do my best and here at the bottom you can see the power port where you connect the power cable to and then you got hdmi port and then display port and usually the one marked with orange is the display port upstream so you can daisy chain to another display port and the caveat is you always have to use display port and another display port to connect to your second monitor and then here is the usb type c port with the display so you can feed the 
display signal from your laptop such way. And here on the USB-C port, it is denoting that it is powering your device up to 90 watts of power. So that's gonna be plenty in terms of providing power to your laptop and charging it as well as having the display out and connecting it as a hub solution. And then here is USB type A along with another type A port. It is five gigabit for both of them. And then we even got a ethernet port over here. That's a nice touch, especially when you're needing to have the office set up with a ethernet port and then you can connect to your monitor and then rely on a single cable solution like this to connect to your laptop. So that is very good. And you can see that there's a couple of grills down here along with two more USB type A ports so that you can connect your peripherals or the little thumb drives of USB into. And then here on the back, as I rotate, you can see that there is a power button along with a navigation knob here. So you're gonna be able to navigate through the menu system of the monitor. So that is all typical. There is a little notch here. I've seen these before and these are meant for the speaker bars that Dell also sells. So you can attach those things on there. And on the back side, you can kind of see there is a button here. If you press that, then this is going to release. Therefore, you can mount this monitor onto other type of VESA mount. You just press that button and then turn like this, and then you can just release it. And then inside there, there is the VESA mount. I believe it is 100 mil by 100 mil. Either way, the VESA mount is there if you wanna provide your own monitor arm. And if I can snap that back in, that is now secure, it's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and connect the power cable onto the monitor so we can power this device. And there is a cable grommet down here so you can always thread that through. If you want to avoid some cable mess, you can't do it this way. I'm definitely not thinking this through. So basically, the this end of the cable that goes onto the monitor, you just thread that into this grommet over here so that it goes through and then connect that and then you can just route the cable so that it's nice and tidy. Connection port down here, so I'm just gonna connect onto that and I can just turn on the power and that should be now turning on if I press the power button. And that might be it since I don't have any input signal. So let's put some input signal. And as I bring my laptop out, I did want to mention our sponsor which is Uni or UNI. And it, this is a brand that I have been using quite often. They make quality cables such as USB type C to type C cable like this one over here, as well as a bit longer one. And I have been using this in my travel bag as well as all over the office to make sure that my devices are connected. But they have this neat device over here and it is wrapped around this silicon case to make sure it doesn't get damaged. But you can also keep it like this, which is quite rectangular and nicely finished with metal all around. And you can see that there is a logo right here, Uni. And then it's got USB type A port, ethernet port, HDMI port, and then another USB type C port and onto the other side and two more USB type A ports along with micro SD card reader as well as a full size SD card reader. The best part is the fact that you can replace its cable. A lot of these hubs come with a cable attached so you can't really remove it or you're gonna have to extend it if you wanna connect something further away but it comes with this short USB type C to C cable so you can basically connect it to your laptop to adopt onto many different interface or you can actually connect something longer like this cable over here and then connect this so that you can reach a lot further. So you can certainly extend the distance for this hub over here but since we are so close we can just use the short cable over here and then connect that device onto my laptop here and then I'm just gonna use HDMI port here for simple demonstration. Connect this HDMI port onto 
the hub so I can convert USB type C onto HDMI and then connect this HDMI port onto the monitor. It's great to have a device like this in your travel bag so you can adopt to a different type of interface, whether it be USB type A port because a lot of laptops nowadays don't have the USB type A port as well as the SD card reader and also the ethernet port and making sure you can present using your laptop via HDMI port because that is quite accepted in most case scenarios. So let me go ahead and open this laptop so I can show you how the signal is traveling through this device over here and onto the monitor. And I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to pick one up if you would like. And here it is. So currently I'm showing or duplicating my screen on to this monitor over here. Let me change the resolution so I can actually fill out the overall size of the monitor. So I need to change the overall resolution to 1440p and that is filling out over there. So this monitor's resolution is 1440p, which is higher than full HD. This is my preferred resolution and size in general. And at 100% of scaling, in general, I really like this form factor of 1440p at 27 inch where you can look at a lot of information whereas your computer is not being bottlenecked due to amount of pixels that it has to chew through. Just putting 4K onto smaller size like this, you are not really able to appreciate every single pixel because it is too much of a density and it puts additional strain onto your machine. So this is, I think, the most balanced form factor when it comes to resolution and overall size of the monitor. And also that was a quick demonstration of this USB-C hub that Uni provides. But in this setup, I'm gonna also try and do single cable connection to see how this monitor behaves. So let me go ahead and connect one end to my laptop and the other end to the monitor. So here is the single connection and that is going to power this monitor as well. Again, I'm gonna have to change the resolution. So right off the bat, I can see that my laptop is indeed being charged by the monitor via single cable. So that becomes altogether very simple in terms of connection. You can also connect a bunch of different peripherals along with the ethernet cable to connect all the data onto this laptop as well. So enough of that, let's go ahead and test out some colors. And it is immediately not listing any of the additional speakers for me, so I'm assuming that this monitor does not have internal speakers and the overall color and the brightness is not necessarily captured all that well on the camera because of the exposure setup. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the brightness of the monitor so you can see a bit better representation of what this monitor's color looked like in real life. So I'm gonna use the navigation button down here to go through it. Brightness and contrast, I'm gonna reduce it back down to, let's say, 40. So 40%, and this is what you're seeing. It looks pretty good on camera, at least what I can see there. So currently, this monitor is at 40%. And the quality of this image over here is 1440p. Looking quite sharp. So overall color work is looking quite good. How about the overall price of this monitor? So if I were to search the monitor on the Dell's website, it is currently listed at $494.99. So basically $500 for this monitor on Dell's website. There is a sound bar that is compatible with this monitor here and it is completely blown out over there because the brightness is just way too bright for white image here. So let me bring down the brightness all the way down to zero and maybe up a little just so that you can see something. And again, the white image with the tiny little text is really hard for the camera to pick up. So I'm not expecting all of these to be visible for you, but here you may be able to tell, yeah, this monitor goes for $500. It is quite expensive, but the amount of things that you get out of this monitor, meaning the one cable solution for power delivery and being able to use this monitor as a hub 
and connecting all of your peripherals you do have to consider sometimes those docking stations do cost around two three hundred dollars so yeah you're gonna have to factor all of those into this device here that was just briefly checking out of the monitor pricing there the color looks really good obviously i would brighten up a bit more but for the camera purposes i want to keep it at this so you can kind of see what's going on in terms of the resolution and color of the monitor everything looks quite good if you have liked this content please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye